Hey folks, JP here. It is Thursday, September 26, 2019. We're in New Orleans. I'm here with Mo. Uh, Mo Bees. <laughs> Mo got him. Yeah, we're over here uptown, New Orleans, Holly Grove. Got some bees in my house. My man come here to help me out. Yeah, they're right in the, this. Uh, we're not sure exactly what's going on. There might have been like a little outcrop or a column or something. Uh, right on the, the corner here. The bees are in that. I'll, I'll give you a little close-up of kind of where they're going in, but they're going in like at the top of this thing. I'm calling it a column. I'm sort of kind of thinking it is maybe. And it's stucco, so I got, we're going to be using a grinder with a diamond blade. So cut the wall open and then... Uh, we're going to have some angry bees. No, we're not going to have angry bees. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. When Mo sent me a picture, I mean, there was a ball of bees like that on the outside. And I stopped by, I don't know, what, a week and a half ago? A week ago, yes. We've been trying to make everything work with his schedule and everything. But we're about to get into it, and I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Give you a little bird's eye view, a bee's eye view, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Give him a little smoke just to keep him honest. Windy today. If you ever want to try it, I got a Pro I appreciate it. Yeah, I got a one too. I don't think they go very far. I think they just kind of on this corner, but we cut it open and see what we got. One tried to get me. All right, all Definitely fire it up. This is the most intrusive part though. But all this banging and stuff. Smoke a little more. Let me get down in there. Oh. That'll work. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, solid honeycomb. Look at that. That solid honeycomb. Solid. Oh yeah, definitely showing its age. All right, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, that whole thing's full. Oh yeah, all the way down.
<laughs> a lot thinner than what is up top. Coming at the bottom now. Hello, ladies. Give me a cup. Everybody wants to give me a cup. Right. It'll be a little messy today, folks. This is some nice looking honey probably right here. The stuff up top is dark. It may taste like sorghum. I find when the honey gets older, it changes. Not always, but a lot of times down here, it'll get like a sorghum taste, that, that dark honey. I don't really care for it too much. It kind of tastes like blackstrap molasses. If you like pancakes, put it on the pancakes and just think pancake syrup. <laughs> I ain't had breakfast yet. That's good. Mm. Don't want to OD though. All right, folks, we all gonna use the bee bag today because uh, there's a ton of honey and honey's heavy, okay? Honeycomb's heavy and it's just kind of a pain to try to shake bees off a of honeycomb. You know, you got both hands on the honeycomb and it's you get sticky and trying to shake bees. So it's just a lot easier vacuum the bees off the comb sections. I'll try to pause the vacuum every now and then to do some commentary to point out things that I think might be important to you. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so without further ado, we're gonna fire up the bee back and uh, proceed forward with this thing. It's one of the wonderful dividends of having a beehive living in your house, folks. Fresh honey. Like sardines in a can, folks. It piled in there. Mo says the bees have been there at least two years. And judging by the color of the comb sections, I wouldn't disagree with them. Not even a little bit. They're not overly aggressive, but they're not super nice either. They're somewhere in between. So far, I haven't had to suit up, and I'm all good with that. A couple of stings here, there, a little smoke down, and uh, we on our way to get this done one bee at a time. Oh yeah, more fresh honey, folks. Put that on a biscuit. Mm-hmm. We got a little bit of everything right here. We got some honey, we got pollen, we got drone brood. Mm-hmm. This is Willow. Hey. This is Mo's neighbor. And uh, we got her hooked up with some honey. We got Mo hooked up with some honey. I'm taking a little bit of honey. And Mo has made a decision, folks. We were kind of talking about it. I thought it was kind of cool. He thinks it's cool. So uh, 
We're moving about half the hive today. We've removed some of that old dark comb. We're gonna leave them with enough honey to overwinter. You know, a lot of people are like, uh, when they watch the videos, they're like, well, you know, why, why are you messing with them? Why can't you just leave them alone? Well, most think it was possibly the colony or the bees could be damaging the structure some kind of way. Honeybees are not a structural pest, okay? They're not like termites. Yeah, but I have no problem with these bees as long as they're, um, they're not causing any structural yeah. damage. And, so, and I'm not pushing him to remove them, you know, take all that out. And there's really, hey, look, it's up to Mo. I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. He and I will be in touch every now and then. And uh, we'll fool with it next year. We'll, we'll see mm. what, uh, what it looks like. And, Take some some of that newer. And when it catches and... on, remember what you saw it first. <laughs> you see everybody got a home hive. That's and you right. The home hive. All right. <laughs> did you try the honey, Willa? I did. It's delicious. Look at that. There you go. Delicious honey. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's get back to it. Put that in your biscuits, on your toast, on your ice cream, in your coffee, in your pancakes, in your tofu, in your cereal, in your beans. All right, folks. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm okay with it. Mo's okay with it. I think the bees are okay with it. We're gonna leave right where they are. Yeah, inevitably I wind up removing about half the hive. Guess what we're gonna do now? We're actually gonna rejoin the bees that we vacuumed up with the rest of the colony. You know, it's a good idea right now to remove some of the dark comb, which we did today, obviously. So they'll build new comb. And then uh, next season, I'll come by and we're gonna go ahead and harvest out of this column, okay? so. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna let the bees out, I'm gonna smoke the heck out of them, and I'm gonna try to bump the box, and then I'm gonna boogie, because they're probably gonna be pretty riled up, so. Let's get her done. We even got them a little bridge, folks. All right, so I'm gonna smoke them. I'm probably gonna smoke myself, and we're gonna bump the box, let them out, and then I'm running, okay? <laughs> All right, smoke them. <laughs> Back up a little bit. It's March 9th, 2021, and we're back over at Moe's. In part one, we weren't really sure what we were doing with these bees. And we did remove some comb, and uh, we used the bee back. We shook the, the bees out and let them rejoin. And uh, so Mo and I talked about different ways we could do this. He was thinking about maybe uh, opening some of this up and then go back with some plexiglass and kind of have like a, a you know ongoing observation hive. But uh, things happen, you know, coronavirus and all that stuff. And so uh, we put the, the wood panels back on that we had taken off originally. So today, we're going to go ahead and take the panels off, and hopefully we, we're able to harvest maybe a little honey and give that to Mo. So I'm, I'm, predict, I'm predicting all of this is full of honey right now. Shout out to you. Here goes part two. Hope you all enjoyed. All right. Uh, Definitely don't have the activity level. Like they had in part two, uh, of course it was a lot warmer then. And uh, we really was just kind of getting in the spring at this point. And they were a little feisty last time. There they are. Uh, peeking out a little bit. Hello, darlings.
drone brood. That's some drone brood right there. See how big those cells are? And they come out from the surface. The worker cells are flat up to the surface. They don't bulge out like that, and they're smaller in size. And all that propolis, and they did all that just to seal out any gaps and stuff like that to keep daylight and cold air, humidity, or whatever, from getting in there. That's a good bit of it. That is nothing but pure propolis right there, folks. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Much better behave today. <laughs> Go ball. There's a little bit of honey in here, but there's more drone brood. And they usually do that early spring. They'll make a bunch of drone brood and then they'll start making some queen cells. You're gearing up to throw off reproductive swarms. And that's a sign of a healthy colony is what that is. Alright, here's your honey. Get you a little bucket. Got your goats? No, oh, I had a final. Uh, they would eat everything. <laughs> they will do that. They, they, they're worse than chickens. <laughs> they ate your banana tree? The whole fruit. Yeah, but you know, you can't get rid of banana trees up and they grew right back. Huh? They grew right back. <laughs> Hello, girls. And a few guys. How many roosters you got, Mo? Oh, okay, I think I see him. He's like, he's got brown on the top of his head and he's speckled on the bottom. And the big one I see is a rooster. Where's the other small one? So that's a little miniature guy right there, huh? Man, he is tiny. Wow. They don't know me. They don't know what to think. <laughs> Boy, he is tiny. Does he get him any being that small? Does he get him any being that small? Yeah, he's so small. He's these them girls. Big boy, run them all. Yeah, right, huh? You can see where they uncap some of the cells so they can feed. You can look down here. See that? Looks like sawdust. That's little bits of beeswax. They uncap the, the cells during the wintertime to feed. That's what you're seeing. Them little little bits are deposited, uh, you know, below the hive. Either in a domestic setup, it would be on the bottom board, and of course in this column where uh, those little bits deposited as as they were feeding and uncapping those cells that contain honey. There you go. That little thing. Got a little honey. This is all new. We've taken all this out. Okay, we've taken all this out last time. So they made all this stuff. See, we got some, some honey in here. We're gonna give the mo. That's a pretty good piece there. There you go, Mo. <laughs> no stings yet? No, they 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 chilled way down. Their numbers aren't you know quite what they could be. Said coming out of winter, they do lose some numbers. You know? and they may have swarmed a couple of times since uh, I was here last. You know? I think uh, you know. I don't know how much honey they have. I mean, they're starting to make honey. So the deal I made with them last time was they keep the half the top half, and I can get the bottom. <laughs> Slide it off on me. All right, we'll take that off, and then uh, that'll be it. Okay. I'll clean that up. 
Maybe like uh, at the end of May, I'll come back. That'll be after the Chinese tallow flow. I mean, we could check it before then. If you see them real busy, coming and going, coming and going for like a couple of weeks at a time, and they could be packing on some blackberry, or I don't know what you got in this area, but the gosh darn blackberry, clover. Last time they had some snowball kids. Did they have some greens? Yeah, green. they had some green. Was it red too or just green? I couldn't think of it. Green? Yeah. So yeah, let's, that's about as far as I think we want to go. Because uh, we're starting to get into some brood and stuff. Yeah, so you see what we did. We took out uh, maybe not quite a couple of feet of comb. Gave him some more room to breathe a little bit, but you can see all this stuff here is, is drone brood, and, and I'm sure they have honey up there. They got everything they need, really. I mean, they got still got a good bit of bees. They're just not real active today. Now, sometimes they'll calm down before they're about to swarm, too, now. <laughs> so, and I'll show you what we pulled out. Look at all that there. So, decent little bit of honey. Uh, Mo's going to get out of that. What do you think of that, Mo? Uh, awesome. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and clean that up. And we'll go ahead and shake the bees off, and uh, maybe we can put these boards back for you, just kind of set them in place. Yeah, yeah. You know, with all that cold weather we had, kind of set them back a little bit. You know? They hadn't really started getting going yet this year. Last year they were more early. Every year, it's usually about the same, but that late cold front. It was definitely colder winter than last year. Yeah, everything all over. Yeah, it was definitely colder this winter than last year. Last year. We knew my head schedule last year. This year they're still waking up so it's getting cold. I think that's it. Right, next week it'll be sealed back up. Yeah. Alright folks, this completes part two. And um, there will be a, a, a part three sometime uh, in the near future. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Another one from JP the B Band and my buddy Mo. And uh, hope y'all having a great day because you know we are. Take care.